Wyatt Warner is experiencing firsthand what the future of flight could look like. He is a flight test engineer at Opener and one of the pilots who flew the Black Fly eVTOL at AirVenture this year. So this is a big first for me. It's the first time I've been at an air show flying. Uh, it's been pretty cool demonstrating the new technology. I've been flying this vehicle from the ground for quite a while as a flight test engineer and remote pilot. And I just was able to get in the vehicle myself about a month ago and start racking up some human flight hours. It's a single seat vehicle, so when you get in for your first flight, you are on your own in there. Uh, but we are able to use our virtual reality sim chairs for training. It seems like from what uh, we've trained operators so far, about 10 to 15 hours in the simulator and you're ready to be a proficient solo pilot. So throughout operator training, we go over a lot of failure modes and failure responses, but it's designed as a very robust system. We're robust against motor failures in any part of the flight envelope, same with control surface failures. We have a triple modularly redundant system, so three flight controllers and three of all of our critical sensors. Uh, when you take off, you know we have a bit over, I think it's a little over 800 pounds of thrust, and it's a 350 pound vehicle empty. So uh, it takes off the ground pretty, pretty uh, powerfully. Uh, and also you can be you know, standing in the air, position hold hover, and then push forward and start flying forward at 60 miles an hour, which is just an amazing experience. And when you pitch forward, you can see the world around you. It's almost like a helicopter type visibility looking out the ground in front of you. Um, so it's a, a great way to experience flying. So as far as controlling the vehicle, there are two joysticks in the cockpit. You only need one joystick to fly the vehicle. So we have two for redundancy and for operator preference. Um, in the hover controller and hover mode, it's very similar to a, flying a quadcopter or a drone. If you push forward on the joystick, the flight control computer will figure out all of the math for the propellers and control surfaces to keep it level and start moving forward. Same with pulling back, left, right, and then twist the joystick to yaw. And then when you're in cruise flight, uh, flying forward, if you want to turn, you just move the joystick in the direction you want to turn. It'll bank the vehicle in that direction and hold a coordinated level turn in that direction. The whole, the whole thing is pretty easy. The takeoff and landing phases are automated, so you can't blow your landing. Uh, the radar altimeters will stop you when you get about 15 feet from the ground, and at that point you give your landing commands. And in the air show, I can just sit back and watch the vehicle touch the ground knowing that I'm not gonna miss my flare or anything. I don't think it's really sunk in for me yet how kind of at the edge of aviation this is. It's, it's my day job, you know, it's what I go to do at work every day, so I feel really lucky to be a part of it, but definitely uh, just kind of have to pinch myself now and then to realize what I'm doing. While many eVTOL concepts are focused on urban air mobility, the Black Fly is all about individual owners experiencing the joy of flight. I mean, we see a, some different market niches this can uh, occupy. Uh, one is definitely a uh, you know, aviation enthusiast who doesn't have their private pilots, doesn't have time to go for their license and wants to be able to experience the joy of flight. Or you know, somebody who has a big backyard that they want to be able to take flights around and see their area from the sky. The vehicle flies under the FAA uh, Part 103 ultralight regulations. So per those, you have to stay uh, in class golf airspace, some of class echo, and you have to stay away from populated areas. Opener isn't selling the vehicle yet, but they are working to bring it to market soon. We haven't announced a sales date yet. When we're date certain on that, we'll start selling the vehicles. Um, but we are looking for partners to join our early access program and start working with us to you know, uh, develop the operator experience and make sure this gets into the hands of competent operators. Alicia Heron, AOPA Pilot.